Hey, what's going on, everybody? Nora Maktaima, uh, under the lamp. <laughs> Yo, what's happening, everybody? Norman Maktaima, uh, under the lamp today. Um, as far as weather conditions, cloudy, uh, a little on the cool side. Would have been a pretty nice day to get out and uh, see if there was any betas popping off. But uh, today, uh, I'm at home, so I decided to bring you um, a little under the, under the lamp tutorial. Uh, today, we're not going to tie any flies, but, uh, well, kind of, sort of. Uh, but I am going to go over, basically, some new Loon product that I picked up uh, from myself personally. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, pretty excited about it. Uh, today on the vice, um, I had uh, tied up a couple Perda Chingones just to show you, um, really, uh, three things. Um, first off, I did pick up some new snips from them, from Loon, uh, the Ergo Precision Tip. Like it, a uh, nice fine tip, uh, but at the same time, the jaws do open up quite a bit, so you get, you know, some good cutability <laughs> as well as that again the precision tip so you can get in tight and uh, cut away things a little bit more accurately uh, as well i uh, did pick up <clears throat> an assortment of the loon um, colored uv resins so black I think hot orange pink uh, red so you know Fun stuff to work with, add some color vibrance, um, highlight your flies a little bit more, and uh, go from there. Along with that, I did also pick up the new Infinity Light uh, from Loon. So, been liking this already, uh, even with uh, the other product like Tactical Fly Fishers um, UV resin, it's, it's cured it really well. Um, great long charge i've charged this thing once and have not had to put it back on the charger yet so that was <laughs> about a week ago week and a half ago uh really nice solid output as you can see um so anyway we'll we'll demonstrate that as well so anyway really the focus of, of what i'm doing here is i did want to compare the uv resin black uh to what i had originally been using basically some sally hansen's uh in black so and just show you and, and compare and contrast the two differences. So, um, anyway, let's get to it. We get started uh, again. This pretty chingon. I already, I basically pre-tied this. Um, maybe get the center just a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> and so, you know, it's already set in the vise. Uh, for those of you who are just jonesing to know, it's the peacock color in a size 16. The hook uh, today I tied on the 230BL. Uh, and the bead is a 2.8 millimeter bead. So first off, let's go ahead and just use the Loon product. Um, I have, um, unfortunately, I don't have any thin. Um, all I have is the UV clear finish in thick, which is fine. I can use a bodkin, bodkin to thin that out. So um, <clears throat> normally what I would do is I would add the uh, black to the uh, thorax um, and start with that first. So let's go ahead and do that. In this one, I went ahead and actually utilized the the brush applicator. So and just shake this up here a bit, and uh, we'll go ahead and apply. So I usually like to kind of just get rid of all the excess on the stem of the brush, and then just go ahead and uh, get what I need to. And then I can just apply it right to the back there. Drawing it forward. And there you go. And then take the infinity light. It's got the cool little button there. And then zap it. So. Okay. 
So that's set so much faster than the nail polish. So I do have that little black back on there. If you can't hardly see it, uh, let's go ahead and actually add just a little more. Try and get that to darken up. There you go. And then hit it with the light. Okay. So we got that set. So you can see it on there. It is a little transparent, uh, a little translucent to this material. And then for the rest of the body, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the uh, UV thick. I do have just the nozzle applicator on here because uh, I had been using it for bubble backs and that sort of thing on, on other patterns. So you don't need a lot. That'll do you. And then we'll just take the bodkin I have for this. And just work it around. Now with the with the thick, um, you have time to work it. It's not going to run away from you like any of the thin or anything like that. So um, yeah, take your time. And then once you get the fly totally coated the way you want it. Then just rotate your, your vise if you have a rotary vise, which this definitely does help. And that'll help even out uh, the sides or, or even out the coating so it's a little less lumpy and, that's, and uh, a little more clean looking. So let it rotate for a bit. Let's go ahead and hit it with the light. Still rotating. Several seconds. Okay, so that's pretty much it right there. I might hit it just on the underneath with a little more uh, just to kind of fill in this, this throat there. That's all I'm going to use. And that I'm just going to let it settle. It should even itself out. Rotate a bit, hit it with the light. And that's just to reinforce the thread collar there more than anything. Um, I just felt like it, the thread was just a little too exposed. Um, okay. All right, so that's uh, Purdue Chingon number one with the UV resin. And let's go ahead and do um, the other stuff. The Sally Hansen's and the um, tactical fly fisher resin okay so i swapped out um the one that was finished with a fresh one so um we got a new fly that's ready to get coated um in the vise here so <clears throat> again what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and run sally hansen's uh extreme wear because these flies are extreme so <laughs> anyway uh, i did shake this already and again like the uh, black uv resin um, there is going to be uh, excess on the shaft of the brush so we're just going to work all that off and, and eliminate as much of that as possible uh, focusing most of the uh, polish on the brush itself the brush tip so I'm going to use my fingertips and I'm going to go ahead and just brace it and then brush forward towards the eye just right over the top of the bead and that's that so unfortunately with this you see I got the coating on there um, because it is nail polish you got to let it sit and dry so while that's sitting and drying we'll just take a break all right and with the magic of video um <clears throat> that nail polish instantaneously dried in reality it took a few minutes for that to happen so you gotta wait if you're gonna do uh or utilize the sally hansen's nail polish uh, tactic or or uh, material um product you you gotta 
basically tie up multiples and then get them coded, let them dry, move on to maybe another pattern and then come back and complete the, um, the rest of the coating with the UV resin on, on the entire body of the fly. Um, and I left this inverted so all the black stays on, on the back where I want it. So um, you can let it sit there. But if you put it on your corks or anything like that, uh, they will stay just fine. So um, that's fine. And again, that's where you put the, the others as you tie multiples of these. So anyway, it's set. Uh, the reason why you really want to let them dry, <clears throat> and I've had this happen multiple times brushing, is that once you apply the UV resin and you activate it, obviously that UV resin will shrink and any little crack or weakness in that UV resin, uh, if this nail polish is not totally cured, and we may see this because I, I gave it in you know, about four or five minutes, uh, sometimes it takes a little longer, but you'll see that nail polish just kind of push through like a little acne bubble <laughs> and so you just got to be aware of that and um, yeah if you're not too too savvy on it you go to grab the fly or whatever and and it's not totally set uh, you may just have um, black nail polish on you so anyway that's just one one thing to keep in mind so again running the good old Devin Olson's tactical UV resin uh, I do like his the brush applicator on this. Uh, just very, very easy to work with. So uh, I'm going to get rid of most of that UV resin on there. Again, using my fingertips to help brace. Uh, I can spin and just let the brush coat as I rotate the vise. And then I'll come back, flip the brush around, get a little bit more of that material. I'm going to coat the head as well, right where I did the... Uh, the uh, um, black spot with the nail polish there. All right, so I got it coated. I'm gonna keep it rotating because this is more of a thin consistency. So I don't want it globbing all on one side. So I'm gonna keep this rotating. And then with the UV light, go ahead and hit it. Give it a few seconds. Uh, this light's been pretty sweet. I've been liking it. Okay, and that's that. You know, with this, using the Sally Hansons, you do have to be concerned about that uh, wait time to let the nail polish dry and set and then go in. However, um, as we look at the two patterns and, um, and compare the two, we can see a little bit of a difference in how they, how the backs are, you know, and it all depends and it's all up on you, what you prefer, but you have uh, the UV Loon Black. Uh, it's a little more transparent, translucent. Uh, they do have a color called Smoke, but I would say this is just as much of smoke than anything, so it is clear. And then the nail polish definitely has more of an opaque finish to it. And so, you know, I'm not saying one is better than the other. Uh, you look at them, from a profile perspective and both look pretty dark you know you're not seeing too too much of a difference however it's when it's from the back but you know as these flies drift through the current through the water uh, they tumble they twist they turn you never get just a straight one perspective or another so you know it's all on the tires on the eye of the tire if you will um you know it utilize the one that you would you're more comfortable with uh you know if you're doing a lot of flies perhaps the uv resin would be the best way to go uh, you don't have time uh, you can set that material much faster obviously but you know if you really want to preserve preserve that uh, uh black uh wing case if you will you know um and portray that perspective or that aspect of of the nymphs in their phases um you know maybe the uv or the nail polish is the best way to go so again it's up to you um you know pretty awesome to be able to have uh, these um colored resins really and uh, i'm finding myself thinking about the other applications um, to utilize them in if there's a little bit of that transparency i can have material underneath uh, show through and that may be a benefit especially with the other colors all right so that does it for the 
UV Loon um, tutorial, basically. Um, good product. I enjoy it. Uh, definitely enjoyed um, using the light and uh, I do dig the scissors. So, you know, a few things um, to check out. Definitely get those <laughs> or look into them. Uh, they're not, this isn't cheap. Um, but I'd say worth it, especially being that it's rechargeable. Um, you're not spending money on batteries nor creating all that waste of used batteries. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll put a link in the Loon or about the Loon product in the comments uh, or description. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to just, you know, drop those in the comment section. Um, I try to get to all the comments and I um, appreciate all the uh, positive uh, comments that come through. And um, yeah, if you have any other uh, tips, perspectives on UV resin, I haven't gotten into anything like solar res or whatever. I got enough stuff and really to get more of these Loon product was, uh, you know, I had to convince myself that I needed them, which wasn't that hard. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just more stuff for me to, me to clutter the desk. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, let's wrap this up. You know where to find me. Instagram, Facebook. Please become a subscriber. If you are if you haven't already clicked that button, subscri subscribe button on Facebook or uh, YouTube, uh, please do so. <clears throat> As well, hit that bell. Get those notifications. It just helps build the channel that much, uh, that much more. And uh, thank you all for tuning in and viewing. And, um, you know, sounds like uh, everybody's enjoying these vids. Um, <clears throat> as well, uh, become a Patreon subscriber as well. Um, I'll leave that link in the description below as also. So, um, anyway, enjoyed time with you guys and, uh, we'll see you next, next time under the lamp or out on the water. All right. Take care y'all. Peace.